Hello everyone! Welcome to our vlog! This is Mimi Guapa! This morning, we will have another recording of our daily devotional reading series. We are reading from the book Our High Calling, written by Mrs. Ellen Goldwhite. Your religion does not matter here, so whatever religion you belong to, as long as you are a Christian, this video is for you. Because the main purpose of this video is to develop a stronger and closer relationship with our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So it doesn't matter whether you are a Baptist, a Catholic, a Seventh-day Adventist, a Born Again, or an Iglesia Ni Cristo. As long as you want your relationship to be closer to Jesus, please stay tuned until the end of this video and in the next videos because we are doing this daily. So we are uploading this video ahead of time so that you can include them in your daily playlist and listen to it on the day it was supposed to be listened to or read to and that you will be blessed daily in your transactions and in your dealings with your associates and colleagues and with your family members. May this serve as an inspiration to you all and I serve to be God's bless vessel of blessings to everyone who are listening to this video. So let's get on to our reading tonight today to this morning and before we continue on shall i invite you to please seek the lord with me in prayer shall we pray lord thank you we entrust you our lives because on our own we cannot do anything we hail your name for your melodious acts of goodness we thank you father for all your sacrifices done for us and for the blessings that are innumerable and immeasurable god today as we have our daily devotional reading may you be with us work your holy spirit in each of our hearts and minds that as we listen today to our recording you will bless us you will inspire us and you will enamor us god thank you for all the things that you have done for our friends for our family for our church, for our community, for our school, for our nation, and for us individually, and that we may be able to share it with other people as well. May you bless each one of us, Father, who are experiencing daily struggles, who have a sick family member, who are also sick in themselves. O oh God, heal us and transform us. We thank you, and we lift this prayer in the, na in the name of Jesus. Amen. No case with God, June 23. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. James chapter 2, verse 1. The wrongs existing in the society of the world should never, never find sanction among Christians. God demands that you open your hand wide to the needy and have the tenderest compassion for those who are afflicted or who are suffering from want. If you have the Spirit of Christ, you will love us brethren. You will honor the humble disciple in his poor home because God loves him as much as he loves you, and it may be more. He recognizes no caste. He places his own signet upon men, not by their rank, nor by their wealth, not by the intellectual greatness, but by their oneness with Christ. It is purity of heart, singleness of purpose, that constitute the true value of human beings. All who are living in daily communion with Christ will place his estimate upon men. They will reverence the good and pure, although these are poor in the world's goods. Avarice, selfishness, and covetousness are idolatry and are dishonoring to God. Tenderness, compassion, and benevolence are enjoined upon Christians. We should study to copy the pattern that the spirit that dwelt in Christ may dwell in us. The Savior was not found among the exalted and honorable of the world. He did not spend his time and pleasure among those who were seeking their ease. He went about doing good. His work was to help those who needed help, to save the lost and the perishing, 
to lift up the bowed down, to break the yoke of oppression from those who were in bondage, to heal the afflicted, and to speak words of sympathy and consolation to the distressed and sorrowing. We are required to copy this pattern. Let us be up and doing, seeking to bless the needy and comfort the distressed. The more we partake of the Spirit of Christ, the more we shall see to do our fellow men. We shall be filled with a love for perishing souls and shall find our delight in following the footsteps of the majesty of heaven. The end for today's reading. Thank you everyone for listening and for staying tuned until the end of this video. May you keep on subscribing in our channel and staying tuned in the next videos because we are doing this daily. And in this year, we shall finish the book, Our High Calling. So if you have book suggestions or book devotionals that you want us to read, to read please comment them so that we can also read them in the next years and that we will read a lot of books because I plan to do this every year. Since I do private devotional readings, I realize of why not do it and share it with the world, so record it instead. And at night, I still do my private devotional readings with my own published version of Bible Journey. But in the morning, I am trying to share it with everyone. So instead of having a private reading, I am doing it publicly. But I still have my claiming of 30 days of victory privately because it's still a different kind of relationship that you've developed with the Lord if you do private readings and public readings. So I hope that from our today's reading, you can listen to it privately. You can listen to it on the comforts of your home or while you are traveling. And please include this in your playlist. May you also share this with your loved ones. And thank you for listening and for staying tuned. May the Lord bless you always. Adieu!